Hey guys, I wanted to make a quick video um, on how to use PicMonkey because this is one of the ones that I use the most. So if I know I'm going to be posting about something, I try to make sure that I have a picture to go with um, whatever I'm posting about. And sometimes the picture really has nothing to do with what I'm doing. But usually, okay, so the first thing I'll do <clears throat> is find a background and picture that I'm wanting to use. So I had already gotten on my Facebook and found a picture that I wanted to use. Um, for the post that I'm making. Um, so I have the picture saved onto my uh, pictures in my folder and then I just googled a background. So then I just click this and save image as into the folder I want it to go to. So once you have those two things you're going to go to pickmonkey.com and when you go to pickmonkey, let me show you how to do this really quick from the beginning. So pickmonkey.com. Pick I'm signed in, but you actually don't have to have an, an account. You can have a free account. I actually went ahead and just paid for the yearly account because you get a little bit, you know, extra stuff. Um, I think it's like $25 a year or something. So then you click design and then you're going to go to my computer <clears throat> and open up the picture that you just saved. So then I'm also wanting to, what I'm wanting to do is add a picture of me I want to erase the background of it and just have like kind of a silhouette of me and then I want to add the um, add some wording. So I'm just going to click the little butterfly here. So I'm going to go here and let's see, it's going to be this image. And so I've added that in there and I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. And um, so the next thing I'm going to do, I don't really know where I want to put my put myself yet, but I'm going to do eraser. And when you're just erasing, and so, sorry, Sarah, I'm trying to just get this uh, as one person on this side. And then, so what I want to do is just use the big eraser first and get rid of all the big stuff and then do all the little stuff after. One of the most important things you want to do if you're doing this is try to make, see how my color background in both are almost the same? Um, so then that way there's not a huge distinction between the two. If I had like a black uh, background or a stark, you know, color, you'd be able to see, you know, the edges um, too well and that'd be kind of not good. So now what I'm going to do is decrease the hardness, make it a little bit, well, I'll leave it right here for now and just decrease this. Probably want it about this size. And then what you can do is just zoom in here, wherever you're wanting to work. So, oh, and if you do that, just click undo. Um, so I've zoomed in here, so I'm just going to go around my body here and where more of that blue is, I'm just going to make sure I focus on that. And if you get it, like say, you know, see where I got it on my pants a little bit, don't worry about that. We'll fix that later. And we're just going to go around. And sometimes I like to increase the hardness on this and that just means, you know, it's um, not as soft around the edges if I'm really trying to get close to the edge of something because I don't want it to have kind of like that, uh, you know, like I did here. I don't want that to keep happening. So I just increase the hardness a little bit. And you're going to erase a little bit of you or whatever you're trying to get the image of. Don't let that worry you. People aren't that concerned with what you're doing here. I am going to, any of the spots that I accidentally erased that I really didn't want to erase, um, I'm just going to fix that really quickly. And you can kind of see kind of this blurry here. If it was a close-up image of me, um, I might have wanted to, uh, so you're just going to click on this. Um, I might have wanted to leave some of that softness because um, it's usually around your face and your hair. And that way it doesn't, there's not a, like a stark line, like I said, you know, between the two. So we're just going to go back here and I'm just painting back in the spots that I may have accidentally erased of myself. So do that. Oops. So see, I, um, so I'm going to go ahead and zoom on out. All right, so now I'm happy with that, and now you can kind of move it around, make it bigger, um, 
do whatever you'd like with this. I'm probably going to see if you want to crop. Um, say this is something you might share on Instagram. I'm going to try to make it a square so that I make sure I have enough room for um, you know my wording. So whenever you do that, sometimes it, it makes you a little blurry. So if you need to make it you know a little bit smaller, you can do that. Um, and I'm just going to leave it just like this because <clears throat> I'm pretty happy with how that looks. And if you need to, um, you know, adjust this or, you know, change anything, you can always change that. All right. And then I want to add text. So I'm going to click on the little text box. Add text. And I'm just going to say... Okay, so I don't even know if that's what I'm really going to post there, but that's what uh, I'm going to do for now. So say I want this to be, you know, uh, centered, we'll just do this. And of course, you can change it to any colors you'd like. Um, and then you just go through here and pick a font that you like. I really like this one, so I've been using this one a lot lately. So I like that, and I might add something here, I'm not sure yet, and I always like to watermark my pictures, so I'll just put uh, my website here, or you can put your Beachbody, Beachbody uh, website, and make that smaller, and I'll probably just place it here for now, because I don't really know what I'm going to put here yet. And then if you want to add, <clears throat> add any like little banners or anything like that, what I will do is like, especially if I'm posting on Instagram, it's really nice to have these, <clears throat> you know, arrows pointing down and say, you know, read below for information. Like if I'm doing a call out um, for a challenge group. <clears throat> So you can do this, and then what I like to do is pick whatever color I want it to be. Um, say I want it to be red, because that's really kind of catchy there. Um, and do that, kind of turn into a peach, but that's okay. So then I can say, you know, in this little box, like read below or go to this. Um, and then something else I do like to do um, a lot is use this little arrow, it's actually down in here. And it's in a weird spot. I'm not even sure how I found it. But I really like using this little arrow, especially in Instagram, because like I said, you can kind of point them, you know, in the right direction where they need to look for information. And um, like say something like read below and make this a little faded. Um, and say read below for more information or something like that. So anyway, then once you're done, you're just going to cl click save and save it to your computer. So I hope you guys um, got some good information from that. And I'll be trying to do these little updates of how to use social media um, in the future. And hope hopefully it'll work for you. All right. Thanks, guys.